Hey guys, it's Sarah here, and you are watching Crafty Friday on So Craftastic. So for the past, I don't know, couple months, I've been seeing these giant gummy soda bottles in my recommended video list, like next to my videos. I wanted to try it out, so this video is all about a giant gummy juicy juice bottle. Ooh, it's pretty heavy. So much gumminess. Before we get into the tutorial, if you enjoy my videos and you never want to miss a new one, then go ahead and click the subscribe button in the corner down there if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see. Now let's get into the jello jiggly gumminess. To make this giant gummy, I'm using a 64 ounce bottle of tropical flavored Juicy Juice, but you could use another flavor, brand, and or size if you would like to. I'm also going to use 28 envelopes of unflavored gelatin. By the way, if you're wondering, I got this huge box from Walmart. And also a three ounce box of Jell-O is optional. Pour the entire bottle of juice into a medium sized pot then empty the contents of those 28 unflavored gelatin packets into that. At this point, there's no need to turn on the heat yet, just let it remain a room temperature, coolish temperature, until all the gelatin powder is combined. And also, I added about a cup of water to the mixture as well, just so I have enough liquid to fill the bottle all the way to the top later on. The consistency of my mixture is pretty thick, kind of like applesauce, and once I have all the powder dissolved as much as I can, then I turn on the burner. And I thought that adding yellow jello would make the juice a really bright color, but it actually made it darker, so you can skip that if you want to. Go ahead and heat the mixture until it begins to slightly boil, then remove it from the flame, well quote unquote flame for me since I have an electric stove, and put the pot in a place it can cool. While that's sitting, go on over to your empty juice bottle and carefully remove the label. You don't want to rip it. Set that in a safe place until later. For now, you're going to use an X-Acto knife to cut a slit along a smooth area of the plastic bottle. And then use a couple pieces of duct tape to seal it tightly. I'll let you in on a secret, this is actually my second attempt. Here's some flashback footage of me doing everything so incredibly wrong. So, so wrong. Exhibit A, cutting through the ridges on the bottle. And Exhibit B, thinking that tape will seal that cut. No. No, it didn't. Cue the leak in five, four, three, two, fail. Quite a few inches of liquid leaked out over the course of a couple hours. Not what I was going for, but the oozy pool of leakage, which is a really gross description actually. It looks like brain, yeah, it looks like brains that didn't help. Okay, enough of that. Back to the bottle that I didn't mess up yet. I'm using a handy dandy funnel to help me pour the warmish cool liquid inside the bottle. Just keep pouring, pouring, pouring all the way to the brim. Then place that in the fridge overnight to harden. I left mine in for about 24 hours just to be super extra safe because I need that super extra safeness with this project. But surprise, surprise, a bit of the liquid actually managed to leak out of somewhere, somehow. So I had to heat up more jello mixture and pour that in to top it off. By the time that little bit had hardened, I was ready to just chill and watch Pretty Little Liars, and then I was really tired, so here we are on day three of filming. And if you hadn't noticed, I had time to take care of that nasty chipped blue nail polish. So finally, it is time to untape this monster and cut away all the plastic. You want to do this very carefully, which not ironically also means very slowly. It literally took me about 40 minutes to peel, cut, and slice the bottle away from the jello. So basically what I'm getting at again is just be really careful when you're doing this so you don't slice away all the detail of the bottle and cut it in half on accident or anything like that. So here it is fully emerged, but not completely perfect. It has a few battle wounds and the top part broke off, unfortunately. 
but I'm still putting this one down in the books as a success. I mean, look at all that detail. You know, including the giant gash out of the logo on the back. Good thing that's the back and no one's gonna see it, so it doesn't matter, just forget about it. And I think that those darker pieces at the bottom are specks of burnt pineapple from the juice. Not sure, or I burnt the jello maybe, who knows. Finally, this was the most exciting part for me. I'm wrapping the Juicy Juice label around the bottle and balancing the cap on the top. Done. Here's what the jelly version looks like next to the actual version. The color of mine looks more like apple juice, but the shape of the bottle is pretty spot on. At this part I learned that I'm not a graceful gummy slicer. It is not as easy as it looks in other videos. I'm either really weak or I should have sharpened the knife, maybe both. Nonetheless, I cut a slice and I'm gonna try it right now. It's taste test time and I'm getting a piece from the very center because I am a germaphobe and it touched the table on the outside. <laughs> So, oh, very chewy. The taste is very true to the label on the bottle. It tastes very tropical, like kind of like pineapple-y mango, orange-ish, not bad. If you make a gummy bottle, show me a photo on Instagram or Twitter by using the hashtag SoCraftastic in the caption of your photo. Also, if you want me to make more gummy tutorials, let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I mentioned, it was a little bit harder than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a piece of cake and a walk in the park. Oh my god. I kind of messed up a little, but girl, it happens, and boy. I don't like to hide the fact that I am human and I mess up, even though I've been doing crafts and DIY projects for so many years. Don't think that if you don't get it right on the first time, you are a failure because we can be twinning, we can be in the I messed up this gummy juicy juice bottle club. But it turned out okay and I'm happy that I accomplished it, finally. Like I mentioned at the beginning, if you're not subscribed yet, you can click the little button down there and a car will honk when you do it, I promise. Not really, fingers crossed. Last week I posted a tutorial that I didn't fail at, at least I don't think so. I did a duct tape room decor video and you can see the cupcake back there. I don't think I'm actually pointing at it there. So I'll put a link to that video in this I button up here. You can click and I'll put some other cool videos as well. You can check those out there or in the description box below where I will also link all of my social media stuff, my pages. So you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you back here for my next video. Bye! Hey guys, it's Sarah here, and you are watching Crafty Friday on So Craftastic. I just sounded like the Disney Channel. Okay, okay, okay. Sit, stay. It looks like a bobblehead. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, what, what's my hair doing? Goodbye. P.S. Some of the blooper footage was hella grainy because I forgot to put autofocus on before I filmed it. Had to redo it all. Much struggle.